Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. Today I'm excited to share this Cutie Patootie W Plus 9 project with you featuring Friends for All Seasons Fall. And I've got three of the images from this Friends for All Seasons Fall. I've got the two bears and the little bouquet of balloons. I'm inking them up. I'm using my mini Misty. Sometimes I got to stamp my images a couple times. That's what's great about the Misty. And I'm moving on really quick. We're going to Copic color these babies. Now listen, I'm an animal lover. I always have been and I always will be. And I love all kinds of animals. I don't just love dogs. I don't just love cats. I really love monkeys, but I love all. And these bears, they're killing me right now because they're so adorable. And if that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough to tickle your fancy, these bears, there's balloons in this stamp set. Hello, people, balloons. If there's balloons, you know you got to have it. You know you can't live without it. That's how I feel about it anyway, because balloons to me equals fun, happy color on a card. It transfers. When I, when I know that there's going to be a balloon on a card, I know it's like instant happiness, instant color, instant fun. So anyway, look at how adorable these bears are. Quickly, I want to say... I'm only using two colors on these bears, E30 and E31. Simple. I like to refer to it as my redneck Copic coloring skills. I keep it really simple up in here. I usually only use two to three colors per image. I like to keep them in the same color family because I don't want to, you know, exert too much energy. I like everything to blend nice and smooth. Just how I like to spread my peanut butter. I just made a peanut butter sandwich for my son. I was packing his lunch for tomorrow. And I like to spread that peanut butter nice and smooth. It's got to be just the right amount, just the right consistency, all the way to the edges. It can't be too much. It can't be too little. And I've got the magic touch, I will say. And, but my husband, bless his heart, sometimes I wonder if he's doing it on purpose. But he's skimpy when it comes to peanut butter and he's even worse when it comes to butter. Like if you ever want him to butter a piece of toast, he just puts a little streak down the middle and I'm like, uh-uh, you gotta go all the way to the edges, honey. You cannot be skimpy with peanut butter or butter or jelly or mayonnaise. And if I have anything to say about it and all the kids agree with me on that one. So uh, as you can tell, I like to take pride in my spreading. <laughs> So anyway, yes, now that we've got all our images colored, we're going to use the coordinating dies to die cut them out. And this is just heaven. I love coordinating dies. So fun, so simple. Although I, I'm, not, I'm not against fussy cutting because, you know, I'll do that now and again. But, but coordinating dies do make me happy. I'll admit that. And there's so many fun techniques you can do with them. Okay, so this is what I'm doing now. I'm going to freehand cut a little arch or a little hill. Now, I didn't like my first one, so I'm going to go for a second one. I end up liking this one better. Better, It turned out. Now, you could use a die if you have a little arch die. But you know what? I didn't feel like digging through my supplies. You can take a craft knife. Just quickly freehand cut a little arch. So this is going to be a mask. I'm going to make a little scene for my bears. I always like to give a little scene, like a little grounding for them to go on. So um, you see this little lumpy, hilly, grassy thing? I think that's what's to make grass. I'm not totally sure, but that's what I'm using it for. I manipulated it to give it just the slightest bit of a curve, and I'm going to stamp four of these. So I'm using that arch that I cut with my craft knife. I'm using it as a guide. So I'm just kind of following that along and lining up my little bumpy hills. Okay, so once I finish stamping them, I'm going to take that same cut arch and use it as a mask. I'm taking cracked pistachio and blending in very subtle sky. Little bit, little dabble do ya. I'm just going for subtle today. And then once I get that, I'll take that top part of my cut arch. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be per perfect. I'm just kind of masking off something on the top so that I can blend in a little twisted citron below that's going to be just a hint of grass. So we're going for a real subtle background because I really want the bears and the balloons to take center stage. Now, this does not get into all those little nooks and crannies of those little bumpy hills. So I take my BG10 and I fill in just here and there where, the, where there was a little bit of white space. And I'm telling you, you would never know it. I do this a lot. Sometimes when I mask and I have little white space here and there, I use that BG10. It's like a perfect concealer. So now I'm just popping up my images with a little foam tape and then I'll stamp a sentiment. The sentiment comes from the Friends for All Seasons Summer, which is just fabulous. All of these Friends for All Seasons are must-haves. They're just completely adorable. Now the little finishing touches. I, I take my Copic 
multi-liner and I just kind of sh fill in any spots that didn't get nice and black like the noses and the ears and things and then just for a little something something which is totally not necessary it's optional I take a white gel pen and I add some subtle details to the balloon and little highlights on the bears this card's finished thank you so much for joining me I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time